Calling all you ambitious, overachieving, bossy, I can do it all. Don't bother me. I got this. Type A women. This podcast series, Healing the Hustle, is for you. Hey there, it's Jessica Butts, front seat life all the way, same butt kicky lady, just in a new chapter, and I'm so excited you're here. We're going to take a journey of healing the hustle as we are more than a year into a global pandemic. And let's be honest, we have all changed. It is time to acknowledge that, accept it, and start a new era of being our best selves without killing ourselves by getting off of the hamster wheel. We can still be our same awesome, ambitious, kick ass selves while not buying into the BS of the hustle. I have found a new way and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's start healing the hustle. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode four of the Healing the Hustle series. Wow. Today, we're going to talk about some deep shit. So buckle up. I think you know by now, probably don't have the kids around. I mean, I think I already swore, so (laughs) we're off to a great start. I just did another podcast interview, and uh, we talked about Mercury retrograde. So hopefully my voice is all ready to go and ready to jump in because we've got a lot to talk about today. So last week we started, why? The why of why we are hustling. I will have to, I do say, this is one of the things that is most frustrating to me in the personal development space is there's not a lot of why. There's not a lot of understanding. There's not a lot of being unapologetically who we are. And I think this is going to be actually next week's content is being unapologetically who we are. So again, last week we started with personality type and understanding the nature the nature part of why we are hustling, understanding that intuitives and thinkers and judgers innately are more hustly by nature than other population. And so today we're going to be talking about the patriarchy. And I think next week's will be more about this being unapologetically who we are. So there's a there's a lot of context right now around kind of some mm, disdain possibly around the personal development space in particular around having to do more, be more, be better, push the hustle, right? I mean, Rachel Hollis is getting a lot of shit for it, in my opinion, for good reason. I mean, her whole thing is, I think, be more or do more or something. I don't know. But we live in this culture. We live in this culture and it's fucking exhausting, is it not, to be met with, you need to hustle harder. You need to work harder. You need to have a bigger house. The way you dress isn't good enough. Your hair doesn't look good enough. You don't have enough friends. You're not on social media enough. You're not making enough money. You're not making a big enough impact. You're not changing the world. You don't have a podcast. Why haven't you written a book? I mean, we live in an exhaustive world, an exhaustive world about hustling, being more, doing more, so many things things that is part of the why, which is the nurture piece. So again, last week was the nature piece. And this week we are absolutely going to be talking about the the nurture piece of how our world around us nurtures this hustle into us. So I actually want to start this episode with a definition of patriarchy. And This word has been talked about a lot recently. It's been thrown out there a lot. And I thought, well, I want to start by actually reading the definition. So here's the definition of patriarchy. A system of society in which the father or eldest male is head of the family and descent is traced through the male line. Also, a system of society in which men hold the power 
and women are largely excluded from it. (laughs) Wow. Right? That's a wow. And I think we could also add to this white men. I mean, I think an updated, honest version would be white men. So the suppression of people of color and women is really what the patriarchy is about. And a lot of white men don't want to talk about this because it then, I mean, (laughs) this is not a political thing, but look at what's going on in our government. I mean, they don't want anything to change. This is conservatism because they don't want anything to change because this is what it is, right? They're they're in charge. I mean, they're it's literally saying men hold the power. <laughs> that most of them don't want that to change. So if we look at the hustle and why women and people of color, but I'm specifically going to talk about women because I am a white woman a white woman of privilege. Being a white woman is privileged. So just that in and of itself is we are born into a world where we we are in a patriarchy. We still are, especially in the United States, we are in a patriarchy. I mean, we still have a white man as president. There's never been a female president in our country, which is mind-blowing. And so we're thinking about hustling, just straight off the bat, people of color, immigrants, women, we start from a lower rung, period, end of story. This was such a fascinating conversation with a few of my friends during the Black Lives Matter movement that it was shocking to me. And I, I'll be honest, I I learned a lot as well. I read um, Robin DiAngelo's White f- white Fragility was one of the most mind-blowing uh, realizations to me. And watching her 90-minute video, uh, her TED Talk style was a- amazing. But it was shocking to me how many women, white women specifically, didn't want to acknowledge that this is a thing. And we also have to, that's not what this podcast is about, so I'm going to try to get back to the point. The point is, this is inevitably part of why women specifically, and again, people of color, but I am not that person, so I'm going to speak from my perspective, that we are hustling is because we straight up have to prove ourselves more. And if you don't agree with that, I encourage you to do some research because that is a fact. Quite a few months ago, actually, someone posted something about this on Facebook. And one of my, you know, Facebook friends, meaning we're not friends, uh, went off. She just went off, attacked a bunch of my friends and basically said, I'm a victim and this is ridiculous. And, you know, she's never had any patriarchy ever in her life. And I just thought that is so ignorant. That is so ignorant and damaging to understanding that inevitably we are hustling because we have to work harder. I mean, women are still absolutely judged on what they're wearing, how they look. I mean, look, I mean, we talk about what Michelle Obama's wearing, not the, not her character and what a badass bitch she is. But we talk about the outfit she's wearing. I mean, this is... This is still the world that we live in, period, end of story. So that hustle is in us from birth to get ahead, to push harder, to need to work harder, to prove ourselves, to walk into a room. I've had numerous, numerous people say to me when I've gotten off of a a large stage, they've come up to me and said, wow, you know, thank you so much. That was great, whatever. And I immediately judged you as a, you know, pretty, whatever, pretty blonde, bubbly girl, woman, like I was immediately annoyed by you. And then I realized you've got some depth. (laughs) And that's just a fact. And I know that. I go through every day of my life knowing that I look the way that I look. I'm a woman. I happen to 
you know, naturally have whatever. This is stupid to say, but whatever. I just look the way that I look. And that in and of itself is something that we have to navigate almost on a daily basis. Every woman does. Our weight, the way that we look, the way that we talk, our voice, how we're showing up. Are we too bossy? Are we too assertive? Are we too bitchy? Are we too, do we have too much masculine energy? Right? I mean, there's so many things to consider that men, it's just normal for them. It's innate for them. It's a good quality for them to be assertive and stand up for themselves. Yet for women, that is something that is kind of looked down upon. I mean, yes, I do believe the world is changing. I will say that for sure. This is a silly, probably caveat, but the new bachelorette is this woman named Katie. She's actually from Washington. And her whole thing is like, she's really assertive and she just stands up for herself and she says what she wants. And there's just controversy around that, right? There would never be controversy about a man doing that. That's just, that's just, standard uniform for for men. So again, I'm going to talk about two things today, that being one of them. So that our hustle, the nurture piece of it is that we live in a patriarchal society. And again, if you don't believe that, I don't really need a message about it because I think you just need to go do some education. Um, You just need to go do some research. You need to realize that it's a thing. That it is absolutely a thing that, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement is a movement for a reason, because they don't feel like their lives matter. They are getting killed in the streets. There is inequality going on for women and for people of color and for immigrants and, and so many other minorities. And that is part of the hustle. So I think that's all I need to say about that. And it's a challenging topic. And it's a really challenging, difficult topic. But this is these few episodes and these chapters of the book and the part of the summer school is hopefully eye opening to people about why nature, why our innate personality type is part of it. And then the nurture piece. So our family of origin, of course, which I'm not going to get into today, being unapologetically who we are, but this patriarchy piece. And then the next thing that I want to talk about today is this concept, just not a concept, the reality that we live in a completely different world than even a few years ago. So I'm 47. And my first job out of college when I was 21, I didn't have the internet. We did not, we worked all, I mean, it's like a foreign concept to people who are 20s now. Like I had a computer that the only thing you could do on it was work. (laughs) That's hilarious now. That is hilarious. There were no smartphones. Like, I don't even know if I had a cell phone back then. So we, in my lifetime, my God, I sound like an old bitty right now. This is, how did I get this old? I sound like my grandma right now. But in my lifetime, things have changed unbelievably. And so there are a whole new set of people being raised in an entirely new world and a whole new societal of internet and influencers. And I mean, I have a friend who her her daughter, that's what she wants to be when she grows up, is an influencer. That was not even a thing. I mean, that, right? This is just, that concept is unbelievable. And so we have to take a look back at where we have come to realize why we are here. So back in the day, right, to start a business or to do anything, right, we, we just had, we had so much more downtime because there was not a cell phone and there's no uh, text message and Marco Polos and Voxers and uh, Instagram DMs and Facebook DMs and an email and phone call. None of that existed, None of that existed. And now I wish I could remember where I heard this interview. So recently I heard this interview. Gosh darn, I wish I could remember that they were talking about the introduction of technology and basically the internet. And 
the the idea back before it was a thing and the the a concept of the internet was that we were going to be so bored because everything would be at our fingertips and the biggest societal problem would be humans having to figure out how to fill their time isn't that hilarious isn't that hilarious and then obviously the exact opposite happened now we are we are a slave, a bitch, whatever you want to say to technology, to, I, I will, I mean, I'll be honest, I have a lot of wonderful friends. Um, and there are mornings when my morning practice is just, I, it's overwhelming because I'll wake up, I don't check my phone after like 7 p.m. And I'll wake up to text messages, Marco Polo messages, Facebook messages, text messages, sometimes a random phone call. Um, And I love the richness of the friendships and relationships in my life, but it's also overwhelming. It is overwhelming. I mean, there are mornings where I will spend an hour or more just kind of catching up with the people in my life before I start doing podcasts and, and, you know, clients and private clients and things like that, because I, you know, I just can't during the day. And so that is a hustle, right? It is a hustle to keep up. So here's another concept. Uh, Sorry, I'm so excited about this topic. I know I'm all over the place. But there's this other idea of like, you post something on Facebook, right? And then you feel like, and I know not everyone feels this way, but I bet 90% of my listeners feel this, is then you have to like, go engage with everybody, right? It's not enough to just put something out there. But then it's like, oh, well, that'd be rude to not engage with this person and and respond here and, and blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, there's like two hours hours of your day responding to a stupid ass Facebook post that you put up about pink and white cookies, which I did yesterday. (laughs) Again, I am absolutely not saying I have figured this out or I have stopped. All I'm doing is bringing awareness. I mean, I did it yesterday. I was so so PMSing and this pink supermoon and I went to Trader Joe's And I was, I literally almost murdered somebody in the parking lot of Trader Joe's. I just calmed down before I went in because I was so agitated and irritated, PMSing like crazy. And I bought pink and white cookies. I ate half the box on the way home. And then I just chilled and watched Shit's Creek because I was a nightmare yesterday. But I posted it on Facebook and the same concept came up as like, wow, now I feel like, oh, I don't want to let, I don't want to say something and then not respond, right? So I'm part of it as well. Like, but that is part of the hustle that I want you to realize we did not have even 20 years ago. That's crazy. If you're even near my age, this is a this is something that we didn't have before. Like we didn't even have text messages. Remember the phones where you had to hit like three buttons to get to the third letter and you would only text things like hi, okay fine, meet you there. Like meet you there was a super long text. And now we can fucking talk into our phones and leave a text. And so, I I mean, I get Marco Polis from some of my friends and I'm like, yo, bitch, I need you to talk faster. Like they'll send it when they're taking walks or they're driving. And I'm like, that is great that you've got the time to listen to that. But now I don't have the time to also listen back. And so all this is about, like, I started with something super, super serious, right? This patriarchy is no joke. But this also, we live in this crazy, insane world of technology. Absolutely crazy world of technology that has us uh, just having, not having, but we are choosing. Let's let's get real what it is. It is choosing. There's a, um, a wonderful woman uh, that did a, a tarot card reading for me when I was in New Orleans. And I'm going to have her come speak to my life group. Um, and she, I would consider, is high on woo, high on boundaries, very highly evolved human being. And I had messaged, I had Instagram messaged her and asked her to come speak to my group. 
And I hadn't heard back from her. And I thought, well, I'll, you know, maybe she didn't see it or maybe she doesn't care. But I thought, well, I'm going to give her another chance. So I said, hey, let you know, just let me know. So I, she got back to me and just said, yeah, sorry. Thank you so much for getting back to me. I don't really look at these messages. I don't I don't text and I don't Facebook and I don't really read my DMs. The only way, you know, I really communicate is email. So here's my email. <laughs> I just thought, good for you good for you. I wish I had better boundaries. I wish I could do that because that is brilliant. I respect the heck out of that. And, and I love it. So this is, this is part of why we are hustling. And again, this is why I wanted to do two, possibly three part series on the why because this is what so many people do. They want to just go to the solution. They just want to go to fixing it or they only talk about the why and they don't have a solution. So that is why the Healing the Hustle Summer School, this podcast and the book coming out hopefully later this year, which I will be healing my hustle. And if the healing part doesn't make the book come out this year, it'll be soon in 2022. But this is absolutely part of the why. And we must understand this. We need to look within. We need to journal and have some reflection time and figure out like there is a nature and nurture reason. There are actual factual things going on in our society, in our world, in this influencer world, in this world of social media and technology and all the ways that people can access us. That's another piece that I just find fascinating is basically any Tom, Dick and Harry in the whole world can can get a hold of me is shocking. There's times when I take, you know, straight up social media breaks or I'm on vacation or whatever. And I just think if you don't have my phone number, you basically cannot reach me <laughs> because those are for right select people. Those are for my best friends and my family. But we give we give and we choose. To, and I do too. I do too. Let me be clear. Choose to give people access to us. And the part of healing the hustle is recognizing that. And then, of course, I will have solutions coming up. So before I end this episode, I do want to let you know about a 10-day challenge. It's totally free. It's over in the Front Seat Squad on Facebook. It is a private Facebook group. I'm going to do a 10-day challenge starting May 10th. So uh, Monday through Friday, uh, May 10th through Friday, May 21st. And we're basically going to take this content and open it up and expand it into a challenge, an itty bitty one step at a time challenge per day to help you start recognizing your hustle, recognizing your personality type, recognizing how you show up in this chaos of this world that we live in, and then we'll get into some solutions. So the timing is interesting because it will be kind of way before I end this podcast. And so I do hope that you will join me. I do hope you will join me. I have all of the content for the book and for summer school and the 10-day challenge, and it will be happening obviously before this podcast is over and the full book comes out. I am also doing summer school. It is an incredibly affordable price. Grab a friend. It's also opening on May 10th. It will be open for that 10-day period during the challenge for those that want to take even a deeper dive. So have a community, do Zoom calls with me, meet like-minded people. It's only going to be eight weeks, so it's super, super, super manageable. It won't be overwhelming, I promise, um, and it's going to really help you take this to the next level. So my friends, I, yeah, some deep stuff today. And part of why I love seeing private clients and why I love doing this work is digging into some of this deep stuff. Because there's so many people, my private clients that will come to me and they just want solutions, right? They just kind of want to talk big picture. But when we slow down and we take an opportunity to dig in to these deeper things, the emotions, the understanding, our family of origin, what's going on in our society, who we innately are, this is when life changing, and I don't say that lightly, life changing things can happen 
and we evolve because otherwise we just keep repeating the same mistakes. We just keep repeating the same mistakes, my friends. We've got to have a new way. All right. I hope you loved this and I will see you next week. Bye. From the bottom of my heart, truly, thank you so much for listening. I know that you have a ton of options and the fact that you are taking time to listen to the Front Seat Life podcast means absolutely everything to me. If you're interested in learning more about the Front Seat Life way of life in the community, you can find out all about that at jessicabutts.com. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye.